The only person who can give you true confidence is you. Now this is easier said than done and it takes a lot of time and practice. So today I will share with you some of my experiences, struggles, and take you on a confidence practice session with outfits I love. Before we start, thank you Princess Polly for sponsoring this video. All the cute outfits you see shipped from within the US, Princess Polly also offers afterpay and shop pay to all US customers and feel free to use Zoe XPP for 20% off site-wide. Don't forget there's also free express shipping to the US for orders over $50. Alright, so in case you guys didn't know, confidence was <laughs> my biggest struggle for many years. Like three years ago, I would be laughing my head off, merely thinking of the idea of filming a try-on haul. That would just be absurd. Like you literally couldn't find a drop of confidence in my blood. And the funny thing is, I don't look that different from three years ago. And the true glow up I went through had very little to do with weight loss or acne. It really just comes down to the mindset. Reflecting on my internal glow up, I would say that there are two major steps to becoming confident. Feel confident and look confident. So I'll go over both steps while sharing with you some of the lovely outfits I got from Princess Polly to put the theory into practice. How to feel confident. To look confident, you need to feel confident you can literally wear a trash bag and still look confident because you feel confident and that confidence will manifest into you looking bomb af if you think i was joking take a good look at this pic so as someone who struggled with many different insecurities i am still working on quite a few of them for instance my flat chest You know what? Corsets are also hella cute. And while my insecurities stop me from ever adding those to my wardrobe, I decided it's time for me to tell my insecurities shut up and got myself three freaking cute corsets from Princess Polly. Now the first one is this yellow floral corset, which has such a feminine vibe to it and just makes you feel so cute wearing it. It has a super flattering neckline and it has the perfect summer vibe and pairs well with basically any pants or skirts. The second one is this green off the shoulder corset. The off the shoulder detail accentuates the cuteness seven times. And the silhouette is also super flattering. I am also a fan of the lace up details. The third corset I got is this chocolate thick strap boss vibe corset. The fabric is super soft. It's definitely a fun piece that can top over another shirt or be worn inside a blazer. I love the playfulness that the metallic touches add to this piece and the generally neutral tone makes it easy to pair with pants and jackets. After getting these corsets that I never dared once wear in my life, I'd say screw all those negative thoughts. I'd say screw all those negative thoughts that my chest will look even flatter in them or that I can't wear something because of my body shape. I've actually never told anyone about this but I used to intentionally slouch because I didn't want anyone to see how flat my chest will be when I straighten my back. Ridiculous. Like who the F cares? Basically only me. So the only thing that's stopping you from looking cute and confident in whatever clothes you choose to wear is actually your own thoughts. How to look confident. Now, after we set the right mindset, here are some tips for picking outfits and styling that can give you an additional confidence boost. Take notes, kids, because we have eight tips coming your way. Number one, pick outfits that fit your body. This might be a no-brainer, but if you have a feature of your body that you adore, don't be afraid to wear something that accentuates it. For example, I picked this pair of beige pants that literally hug my hips and legs. It fits super well and is an overall insanely flattering bottom that adds a bit of curve to any outfit. It looks super chic with a pair of high heel boots and the slit at the bottom, big fan. Number two, pick outfits that are comfortable. This relates to both the fit and materials. 
If the fabric makes you feel good, your confidence will be boosted by the feel good vibes. Here I have this basic black tank situation with a small twist on the side. Super cute drawstring details. But what I love about this a lot is the super soft materials and how comfy it feels without losing the chicness. It's very easy to move in and doesn't make me feel restrained, which diminishes confidence. Number three, pick outfits with a pattern you love. I am personally a sucker for gingham or checkers. So when I saw this baby blue checkers skirt with such a flattering waistline I had to wearing the pattern you like gives you the small joy of wearing your favorite color or your lucky shirt remember you gotta feel good to look good and not gonna lie I think any checkers fan will feel cute wearing this mini skirt Number four, pick a badass outfit. Looking like a baddie is honestly so much easier than you think. When putting a few basic statement pieces together, boom, you got yourself some baddie dragon slaying queen energy. I got a pair of classic black denim shorts with a twist on the mismatched button details. Pair that with a black tank and some killer boots. Now we got some you can't sit with me because I'm too cool vibe glowing. Number five, put on a blazer. A blazer has to be one of my favorite items to work with in any outfit. The magic of the blazer is that it can make any outfit look 10 times more dressy or powerful. And I have to say that my absolutely favorite piece I got from this Princess Polly haul is this beige cropped blazer. The silhouette is literally chef's kiss. Because I'm someone who loves wearing high-waisted pants or skirts and this blazer, no jokes, is cropped at the perfect length and leaves the spotlight on the waistline. It also makes me look probably two times taller. For a girly outfit, it works super well with a corset and skirt. For a Forbes 30 under 30 but make it fashionable boss vibe, it also works like a charm with a chocolate corset, beige pants, and black killer boots. I feel like I'm ready to sign a million dollar deal or fight for the last bag of avocados in this outfit. Number six, step into heels. Now I'm definitely not a heels person because God knows I can barely stand in them. But this pair of killer boots, and I say killer because they have me at first sight. It's actually comfortable to walk in and makes me feel 10 times more empowered. I feel ready to become a bodyguard or give a TED talk when I slip into these. The crop leather details with flared heels juxtaposed against the softness of the material. Mm. Number seven, jewelry makes a difference. I'm not recommending everyone to get diamond rings or necklaces, but I do think jewelry and tints of metallic color give the outfit more texture and brings the whole outfit together. For example, I got these rings that look really cute together with all the different outfits and these hoop earrings that make the outfit look a bit more playful and add touches of gold. Jewelry in general are the easiest ways to make a basic outfit stand out and playing with small details like such honestly make me feel a lot of joy. Which brings us back to the topic of how feeling good and confident precedes looking confident. Number eight, get dressy. A dress can bring a whole different mood to your day and make you feel more dressy. I love a classic white dress that really can't go wrong. And I really like how Princess Polly added mesh, a square neckline, and puff sleeves to give a white dress new vigor. It's hard to not feel like a princess when wearing a dress and how we feel always manifests into how we look. So that sums up all the styling tips I have for you to not only look good, but feel good, feel special, feel confident. Remember, to look confident, you need to feel confident. Hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe to grow and glow up with me. Have a lovely day and I will see you next week. Bye. This is the end.